Hey, Glenn Meadows, thank you for joining me on day 10. Um, we are in uh, Matthew chapter 6, 5 through 15, and uh, should be a common passage to all of us. And it's, it's, this passage has in it the Lord's Prayer. And as you spend time this morning, just in your devotion time looking at this passage, let me bring up a couple of things to look at. Number one, there, there are things you don't do in prayer. This is in the Sermon of the Mount. Jesus is uh, in the middle of the Sermon on the Mount. So Sermon on the Mount is Matthew 5, 6, and 7. He's in the middle of the Sermon on the Mount, and he's teaching people how to pray and how to actually come to God, where uh, a lot of the religious people were trying to hold people back, trying to uh, control them uh, by being a uh, barrier between them and God. And uh, be very, very careful of any group, of any religion that tries to uh, be the one a, a man, a woman, a, a teacher, a pastor, a, a religion who tries to stand between you and God. And uh, so that's what they were doing. And Jesus was saying, man, God is like your father. And there's, there's two things or two ways you do not approach him. And the first way is it's, it's not just a show. It, it's more about what's inward than it is outward. And he talked about the hypocrites. Don't be like the hypocrites who love to stand and allow people to watch them pray to shout on the corners and talk about how righteous they are and how they're not like the sinners over there. And so he says, don't be like a hypocrite. And a hypocrite, uh, as you know, the Greek world ruled uh, Jerusalem at the time and, and Israel at the time. And uh, they had all their plays and uh, you're very familiar with, with the Roman theater. And in their theater, at, when, when an actor would change character, he would just hold up a face. It would just be a face made out of clay or wood painted up and had a stick. And so as they change characters, they would just hold up another face. And that is a facade or it is hypocrisy because the person behind the mask is different from the mask. That's hypocrisy. And he's saying, man, don't be like the hypocrites who act one way in public and then in private act another way. Then you've got those. The second thing you're not to do in prayer, as he says here, is you're not just supposed to babble. So it's not about uh, reciting prayers one after another, after another, after another. It's God is wanting to hear your heart. God is wanting to reflect scripture back to him. God is wanting you to bear your burdens and your needs and your cares and your concerns. And so you and I are not to be hypocritical. We're just to be real before God because he knows us anyway. We can't hide anything from God. So you are to use scripture to bring conviction to allow you and me to be transparent. And also, we're not just supposed to, we're not going through rote prayers of what other people have said. There's nothing wrong to read other prayers. I do it all, I do it sometimes, I don't do it often. I do it sometimes. And I, I enjoy doing that. But however, God wants to hear from you. But then he says, um, then you pray like this. Our Father, which is just earth shaking for the people to hear that. Approaching God as Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So. We pray upward, thy kingdom come. We talk about downward, so we're praying, God, you got this glorious kingdom. We want it to come down. And then we talk about in, inward, meaning my needs. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. These are things that we want to come uh, down and then, uh, and then outward. So upward, inward, or upward, downward, inward, outward. That's a four part prayer. And so we pray that way. And so as you read this passage of scripture, it is just fantastic. And allow the Lord just, just uh, to, to use your prayers to minister to people, to minister to him and to minister to you. Anyway, God bless you. Have a great time in prayer.